I am Laser Larry, Chief Technology Officer for Landmar Services. I'm an architect who's got over 20 years of computer modeling buildings since the days of DOS. At Landmar Services, we go out and 3D laser scan buildings and turn them into computer models for other architects and engineers. And we need a lot of processing power. Over the years, I've used a lot of different workstations from all the different manufacturers. One of my favorites is Box. So today, I'm here at their home office to test out their new Apex S3. We've got a bunch of Apex 2s, uh, 2403s, that we need to upgrade. And I want to see what sort of performance gain we're going to get out of them. There's a number of ways that I check performance. Um, most of the performance that you're going to see when working with Revit is fractions of a second to a second. So I want to do a couple tasks that I know are really going to challenge the computer and take it a little bit longer so that I can see the percentage that I'm getting overall. Uh, I have here a giant Revit file that we all love. And uh, uh, I'm going to upgrade it from a previous version to 2018. Let's see how long it takes. So just discard the work sets. Okay, there it goes. And they're off to the races. I've looked at both specs. Uh, the old Apex 2 has 32 gigs of RAM. The new S3 comes with 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, there's also an upgrade in hard drives and a upgrade in video cards. So the old Apex II came with uh, a K4000, um, which was a four gig uh, K4200, I think. It's a, a four gig video card. The new one comes with uh, the NVIDIA Quadro uh, P4000, which is an eight gig video card. So I'm gonna expect a certain amount of performance uh, jump out of those. The other, another uh, jump that I've noticed in the specs is that they both have i7s. There's a newer version in the S3 and it's also a hex core. Ah, all right, okay. Yeah, ignore, hitting the... And doing a rotation. Boom. Maybe we even turn on the shaded. Okay, that's gotten 72, so it should be humming along here shortly. What's it doing? Is it doing it? Yay! Ignore. 3D screen. And maybe putting a shade on. Mm. And now we're at evens. All right, for this test, what we're going to do now is I've got a project, a giant building, um, I've turned on all the geometry in a 3D viewport, and we're going to turn on point clouds, section box through it, wiggle them around, and see how well they react. So, uh, first thing I'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, let's turn on uh, the point clouds. And as I normally work with two computers, uh, both my right hand and my left hand. 
Here we go. Oh. Oh. There we go. And we'll hit OK. See if there's any delay in bringing them up. OK. The new one brought it up a second faster than the other, than the uh, old Apex 2. All right. And what we're going to do now is we'll just uh, we'll rotate them around. So I'll hit front at the same time on both of them. Oh, the old one. <laughs> Apparently I missed, missed my click. Okay. And uh, bringing up the section boxes. So the section box and then the section box, good. And again, I'm trying to do the exact same function both on both at the exact same time. So like I'll grab the control key. I'm holding them down on both of them. Okay, I've noticed this on uh, all the boxes I've, I've uh, uh, done this with. Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it correctly. It looked like it was going to have a problem, and I had, when I was playing with it earlier, it had a little bit of a problem as far as grabbing that upper section box key. Um, for some reason, there's a performance issue there uh, that the newest, fastest uh, CPU seems to be working better with. And bringing, notice on the, uh, the new one, you see that section box moving in real time. And the old one, uh, it seemed to have let go. I'm still, I'm having a little trouble grabbing that section box key. Uh, it did move up a little bit, but it's it's behaving just a little with this much geometry and this much uh, point clouds. It's it just doesn't quite want to do it. There we go. We got it this time. There we go, and that's indicative of the idea that you know uh, the stronger computer is able to do handle more geometry and the, the heavy point clouds or 3D laser scanning uh, better. And so um, we've noticed little functionality things like that uh, that really can be like distracting during production time. So we're, we're, getting, we're getting a little more responsive, real-time uh, reaction out of this new S3, which the S I can only uh, guess stands for super. Now let's look at typical everyday performance for plans and sections uh, between these two machines. So I've set up a plan here in both. Um, I've set up a section marker. I'm going to go ahead and double click on both. Yeah, good. They both came in fast. I'm seeing the point clouds in there in the background. Um, so that's good performance by both of them. Uh, zooming in, just rolling the mouse back and forth. Looks like we got good performance on both. And uh, panning. Panning, I noticed that I'm getting a little better performance out of the, uh, the new S3. So uh, the older box, uh, S2, or Apex 2, is um, uh, it's running at a fewer frames per second, maybe five or six frames per second, whereas the uh, new S3 is running a little more real time. Um, okay, and then from here, let's go to another section marker. And okay, and yeah, just checking it out. Looks good. All right. And then uh, the last thing we'll do is we'll go back to the floor plan that we had open. And, and same sort of thing. We're going to zoom pan uh, in both of them. So just rolling the mouse back and forth in both of them at about the same speed, same time. And, and it looks like we're getting pretty good performance. Um, out of both of them. Um, checking out panning and get it to about the same spot and wiggling them back and forth at the same. Again, I'm getting a little more real time, a little more higher frame rate 
as far as refresh on the newer machine than the older machine. So uh, that's what you're going to get as far as uh, overall performance on you know working uh, on smaller data sets. And so better zooms, better pans, better uh, uh, little performance uh, pick me up on, on that part. Now's a good time to talk about some of the real benefits that I've seen uh, coming out of these box computers versus the other manufacturers. Um, mostly it centers around the processor and keeping that processor liquid cooled. Um, so Box has done a lot of research and, and uh, they've taken some of our bigger files and played with them until they came up with the um, realization that the i7, Intel's i7, really seems to perform the best. It's, uh, it's higher frequency, uh, really seems to be one of the points that, that matters in these single core, um, single threaded applications like Revit. That, keeping them cool and being able to overclock them uh, dynamically or professionally, um, that seems to make a huge difference in, in getting better performance with this program. Also, the other thing that I've noticed inside the box is that uh, they're not putting in anything in their computers that they don't have to physically. Uh, so the expandability of the inside of the box of the workstation, uh, in case you want to add an extra video card or another piece of equipment, uh, that always seems to be there. Well, there you have it. Uh, the good people at Box, by doubling the RAM from 32 gigs to 64, by doubling the video card's power from 4 gigs to 8 gigs, and going from to the latest i7 uh, from Intel, going from a quad core to a hex core, They've really improved the power and, and smoothness of operation. So you get smoother zooms, smoother pans, you'll get um, uh, faster processing power um, with their latest machine. Uh, all of it comes together to be very impressive and adds up over the day, if not the year of your production. Hey, if you'd like, you can see the shootout between the uh, Box Apex S3 and uh, Dell's Precision 7920 um, and also a shootout between HP's Z6 and this machine uh, on this website. So check out those videos as well if you'd like. Um, if you'd like to learn more about me and Landmark Services, check us out at LandmarkServices.com. Uh, there you'll find helpful blogs on, you know, useful things that we've uh, discovered over the years. And, uh, and you can see the latest projects that we're working on. Thanks again for watching.